Hey collectors, here is a look at my holes from the 2023 Christmas Toycon at SM Mega Mall. And I would like to thank Hobby Corner for this. Link in the description below. Check them out. Most of the G.I. Joe classified figures were sold at 50% off during the event and I was lucky enough to get Zarana, Cobra Officer, Bazooka, and Dusty. And to start the review, we will be opening Bazooka David Katzenbilgen. Bazooka comes in this new windowless box from Hasbro, which I am not a fan of. And I'm glad that 2024, they will revert back to the old packaging of their toys wherein you can see the figure from the plastic cover. At the back of the box, you can see this time around the picture of the figure that you will be getting plus the accessories. Once you open up the box, you will get another carton box that houses the figure and another box that has all the accessories that you saw at the back of the package which is a waste of material for me. To get the figure out from the carton box, you have to untie the figure. And once you open the other carton box, you need to rip off the packaging of the accessories which again is a waste of paper for me. And what if the quality control of Hasbro forgot to insert an accessory inside that package? You wouldn't be able to see it because of all the covers that you have to go through just to check it out. After cutting open this paper bag that houses the accessories for the figure and untying the figure from the secondary box this is what Hasbro left us a lot of wasted paper and I am fortunate enough that there are no missing accessories with the unit I've got and the eyes are painted perfectly and here is bazooka out of the package the figure stands 6 inches and is fully poseable. And before you go on and posing this figure, I would like to remind you to heat up the joints to avoid breaking them. And this is the backside of the figure. We still have that peg hole to put in his backpack like the old 3 and 3 fourths version of the G.I. Joe figures. If you can find the center of balance for Bazooka, this figure can stand on its own but I don't suggest you leaving it on any action pose without any support because it will definitely fall down. And again, reminder, if the joints don't budge, don't force them, hit them up so you won't be breaking them. The fun part about this figure is that you can put on his helmet and it will fit fine. And this is how the backpack is assembled and all you have to do now is peg it on his back. Usually in the cartoons, Bazooka is seen wearing his helmet while charging into battle. The only drawback for this is that it should have come in the old plastic packaging instead of the covered box type that Hasbro did. And for size comparison, here he is with Superman from the Superman cartoon series by DC Collectibles and Batman from the Expression Pack Batman the Animated Series also from DC Collectibles. With Kid Krillin from Dragon Ball by SH Figure Arts and Snoopy from the Great Pumpkin Toy Line by Playing Mantis Memory Lane. With the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman from the Ultimate Movie Collection box set 
and Condiment King from the Batman animated series Condiment King Wave, both figures from McFarlane Toys. And finally, with Tigra from Thundercats and Quicksilver from The Silverhawks, both figures by Super 7. And with that, thank you all for watching and see you all again next video.